Which finding, if true, would most directly support the idea advanced by Gil de Zuniga and Deal? As media consumption has become increasingly multi-platform and socially mediated, active news acquisition has diminished in favor of an attitude known as news find me, in which people passively rely on their social networks and ambient media environments for information about current events. Homer Gil de Zuniga and Trevor Deal examined data on a representative group of adults in the United States to determine participants' strength of NFM attitude, political knowledge, and political interest. Although no major election took place sufficiently near the study for Gil de Zuniga and Deal to identify causality between NFM and voting behavior, they did posit that NFM may reduce voting behavior through an indirect effect. So, option A says, NFM attitude tends to increase in strength as major elections approach, and people are significantly more likely to vote in major elections than minor elections. This is incorrect because the idea advanced by the two is that NFM reduces voting probability through an indirect effect, but here it highlights how NFM may increase voting probability, where NFM increases in strength as major elections approach, and people are more likely to vote in major elections than in minor elections. So therefore, A is incorrect. B. NFM attitude has a strong negative effect on political knowledge and interest, and there is known to be a strong positive correlation between political knowledge and interest and the likelihood of voting. This seems to be the correct answer because it highlights how NFM has a negative effect on political knowledge and interest. Therefore, as NFM attitude increases, political knowledge and interest decreases. And there's a strong correlation between political knowledge and the likelihood of voting. So when political knowledge and interest increases, the likelihood of voting increases. Therefore, NFM, which has a negative effect on political knowledge, increases, and therefore the likelihood of voting decreases. Therefore, this supports the idea advanced by the two. So B seems to be the correct answer. C. Political interest is known to have a strong positive effect on likelihood of voting, but shows only a weak positive effect on political knowledge. An NFM attitude shows little correlation with either political knowledge or political interest. This is incorrect because this does not support that NFM reduces voting probability through an indirect effect. It highlights how NFM has neither a positive or a negative, negative effect on voting probability, where it has little correlation with political knowledge or a political interest. So C is incorrect. D. Likelihood of voting increases as political knowledge increases, and the relationship between NFM attitude and political knowledge tends to strengthen as the size of people's social network increases. This is incorrect because this introduces another variable, which is the size of people's social networks, and this is not in related to the idea advanced by Gil de Zuniga and Deal. Therefore, D is incorrect. And the correct answer is B.